Let's see a case of detecting insider threats that was created by Chris Hankin from Dallas. And insider threats are very difficult to detect because basically you allow people to use the things they're using. They're just uh, uh, using it in a way that is not appropriate. In this particular case, we want to detect, uh, we start with a clean system where there are no offenses and uh, nothing really playing on, on, on my demo system here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replaying some logs that shows how a user authenticates into a Windows system, inserts a USB key, goes into a prohibited site, and we'll see how we set that up later, and uh, then removes the key and logs off. And, and we want to actually detect uh, from all those logs, we want to detect, well, the user inserted the USB and went to a restricted site. That is the thing that is going to trigger uh, the detection in here. So we start by uh, getting the user to uh, log in and we see that that uh, window uh, guy log in. Uh, shortly after he connects the device and we got that log source DLP that we actually it was a breeze to create a, a, a DSM with a new DSM editor. And uh, we see here the blue code proxy logs um, and we see the user uh, the, uh, removing the USB device and logging off. And you see that uh, all these were done by the same uh, user, RSD, oops. Uh, and what's going to happen is that this particular action, the combination of inserting a USB key from those DLP logs and our blue code proxy indicating that he went into a site and we have that site uh, uh, represented as a... Uh, uh, prohibited site and we did that let me actually show you that we uh, created a reference set that actually contains those uh, restricted uh, sites and here they are and we put six in there one of them being uh, wikileaks.com wikileaks.info page bean i mean wikileaks.org etc so we put in there i mean you can actually put whatever uh, websites you don't want your uh, employees to actually go there. We can actually pause here the logs and inspect uh, some of these uh, particular thing and we see that you know that fire and offense and we'll see the, the actual offense and and this is the uh, device connect that we get from the DLP logs that basically indicates that a user uh, connected a USB key and the other one is this uh, TCP heat that's the blue code proxy that indicates that he actually went to one of those sites that we don't like, that wikileak.org. So we extracted the first part of that uh, URL, which is, is a custom property, and for the, uh, detected that uh, he went where he is not supposed to. And that actually made, let me refresh you the screen, and actually made an offense fire. Pretty good, that that's precisely what we want to uh, call the actual attention. We see the, the events there. And as we have done before, we can actually show the rule that we built for it. That is inside the threat, USB uh, and restricted sites. And basically the rule says, well, there are two building blocks that we created for this. I'll show them in a minute. That USB key device connected and restricted website access. And then when it's done at least one time by the same user name in five minutes, fire that particular offense. And here we are in the rule looking at the, at the building blocks uh, and we are actually, uh, let me show you the, those two uh, building blocks uh, we created for this. And this is the DLP one in which we take, uh, and this we use with the DSM editor, we extracted this custom property called device action and when it matched the word connect, which means that he inserted a USB key, then this uh, building block gets uh, and the other building block is this uh, web restricted website access, and we space only when when this is coming from blue code proxy, which is what the things uh, going out, and from it, from the blue code, we extracted this custom property, which is the site, which is the, the first part of the URL, and that is contained in the restricted website, the reference set that I showed you before, fire and offense. It is that easy to detect uh, these and many other cases of insider threats using Curator.